All right, guys, so we are here in Penrose Commons area, recreation area in Colorado. It is just west of Pueblo. Um, and we're checking out their four wheel drive trails here. Uh, there should, there's about, from what I understand, there's about 30 miles of four wheel drive trails that you can use any OHV type vehicles on. Um, we've seen quite a few ATVs and dirt bikes already. Um, we're looking forward to seeing what's up here. So every trail so far is labeled very clearly on what's allowed, hiking, horses, dirt bikes, bicycles, four-wheelers, side-by-sides, UTVs, and Jeeps. Yes, and there are some that do not allow motorized vehicles, so you can bring your horses out here and not be worried about them being spooked. Mountain bike trails, all of that. We definitely really like this place so far. I have a feeling that we may come back because it, it's it's really, it's very cool. It, so this is definitely a location oh, no. where if you can ear down, you should. There are a lot of rocks that stick up. A we, lot of pointy rocks that stick up. We are on highway tires and we have They're our tires high. fully inflated because we cannot deflate our tires. a decent spot. A couple of cactuses. What do you think? Pretty I haven't seen many people coming down this side of the trail. We also haven't decided whether or not this is the uh, extreme off-road trail or if this is just considered a jeep trail because there was a sign back there that was a little bit ambiguous on which direction it was pointing so there's a lot of rock cliffs <laughs> we uh, may be on an extreme trail with king leo with which king really, leo which we really do not do on purpose we, we would not choose to do this intentionally we thought we were not but it, it feels rather bumpy luckily black betty has a lot of ground clearance stock so we haven't hit anything yet. We might hit a stone. Oh yeah, this tire is gonna go. Well, at least we'll uh, have it on documentation if we destroy the trailer. <laughs> Your car's got more than enough clearance is the trailer I'm worried about. Y'all, I'm sorry if the camera angle doesn't stay at put, cause uh, oh my goodness. How close are we? Well, you're good with the car. It's the trailer that I don't think you're gonna be good with. Can we stack some rocks? Yeah, I think I need to put a rock in that hole. No, no cactus. Hey guys, so we accidentally made our way down a diff or a, what did they call it? A challenging uh, four wheel drive trail. We thought it, 
an extreme, sorry, Jeremy, just let me know. It's an extreme four wheel drive trail. Um, we were trying to go down the regular four wheel drive trail and uh, we found this spot kind of nestled in the top of it. It is super awesome up here. The, it is starting to rain. We should get rain for another hour or two. Um, uh, we did not mean to go down here, but we made it this far and in the morning we are gonna try and make our way back out. <laughs> so, uh, wish us luck. All right guys, so this is the one that we went down yesterday and we have piled some rocks. Jeremy's gonna try and keep his tires on them. I think you're good. Yep, you made it. So when you're on off-road trails or four-wheel drive trails, don't ever put your thumbs inside the steering wheel. The, steer, the wheel of jerks. You will break your thumbs or at least dislocate them. So just keep your hands open on the outside. Use your fingers there. You'll be able to just let go of the wheel. Don't put your thumbs in there because when the wheel jerks, and if you're on a real four-wheel drive trail, it will. You'll snap a thumb or dislocate it and it hurts. What about you guys? What's the rules in the back? Stay in your seat, keep your seatbelt on. We learned that one when we were at the Colorado River lookout overlanding trail. Somebody decided to take their seatbelt off. Jonathan decided to take his seatbelt off. He jumped up.
Okay, guys, so we made it to the end of the uh, labeled ext for Extreme Four Wheel Drive Trail. That, that's the sign right there. It says technical vehicles. We are just stuck. We are in a fifth gen Forerunner limited edition, and we've got a standard cargo trailer pulling behind us. So we made it. Tire placement is everything, and sometimes you have to stack some rocks, but we made it out. This has been a really fun trip. I'm really glad we did this spot. I, you know, I almost didn't choose this one because on the dirt, the only review that's there is only two stars. Um, From a guy with an Airstream who was towing it with a not lifted truck. Yeah. So, if you're coming out here to four wheel drive, this is awesome. If you're coming out here to pull your RV, it may be a little challenging, but you can do it because people have. Yeah, there's some uh, there's some 30 foot toy haulers up at the top. Yeah. And uh, if you go slow and you pay attention to your tire placement, you can get up there. Yeah. You definitely need a four wheel drive Scout. truck to pull it up there. Absolutely, yeah. But uh, you can make it if you want to. After we do our modifications and upgrades to Black Betty and King Leo, we will definitely come back here and we could go way further up uh -huh. some of the rock shelves. That's true. So they definitely have put some rocks in some places they don't want you to go. And for the most part, everybody here is not flying down the trails. Nobody here is messing up the trails and digging ruts and for what we can see, all of the campsites are very clean. People are keeping their trash up. Yeah, this is a very nice, very clean area. The people around here really care about this space and want to keep it open. And so they're keeping it very clean. Nobody's driving off the trail. It's, it's a really nice area. So if you come out here, make sure you pack your trash out. Make sure you stay on the trails. There's more than enough fun on the trail. There's no reason to go off the trail respect the signs yeah and have some fun pay attention to the trail markers that say uh no no motorized vehicles or uh extreme difficulty <laughs> we found a trail that really wasn't labeled well for extreme difficulty and we went down the trail with king leo and uh we we made it we just had to go a little slower and really really pay attention to tire placement but we made it. So to be fair, we did not go all the way down the trail. We did stop at our campsite and then turned around and came out the way that we came in. We were about halfway down the trail. On the way out, we realized that we were on the extreme four wheel drive trail because coming out, it's labeled very well, but going in from the top, it's not. You can't so tell which that. way, if it's that way or that way, there's two trails that split where it is. And it's really hard to tell which one is the extreme and which one is the just plain four wheel drive. Um, so but from the sounds of the vehicles that were coming up from the other direction, it sure sounds like what was below us was even more challenging than what we did hit. So. Well, yeah, we just went down, found our campsite, camped for the night. It's too bad we couldn't stay here a few more days. So we found this on our way north through Colorado. Um, we are low on water. That was a mistake on our part. We should have filled up before coming out here. Um, but we're gonna keep heading north and see what else we can find in beautiful Colorado. today.